Hey guys, it's Mina, and welcome to the 175th episode of your favorite daily pandemic cooking show, Sup With Your Pup! I thought it was called Cooking for Dogs. I changed the title. When? Fifth episode. Oh, so it's not called Cooking for Dogs. And don't worry, Percy, do not fret, Sirius. It's not called Dogs for Cooking, so you can just relax. That is, of course, my partner, Jeremy, who has not left the house in... 175 days. 175 days because... Because I have severe asthma and I also take an exotic steroidal medication which may interact badly with COVID-19. Mm. But who the hell knows? But that's, <laughs> that's right. But here in our happy home, we just keep laughing and smiling and cooking. Yeah, <sighs> like this is one giant dollhouse and you're living here with a real life Jeremy doll. Creepy. Now today, I thought I would make something special for our 175th episode. Hour? Yes, hour. I, I'm just here, this is your thing. Well, I like to think we're a team. Well, this isn't my show. Well, you're always in it, you're in the kitchen, you're in the shot. I live here. You're a major character in a long running Program. Your program has like four viewers. Jeremy's being his usual hysterical self, as all of our regular viewers know. All your regular viewers. All four of them. Fine. Fine. 2020 has made mommy a little wacky, huh, guys? You're the one speaking to canines. Well, you're the one speaking to an iPhone. Well, it's an iPhone 11 Pro Max, and it has a really, really good camera. I know. Your smartphone is better technology than anything from the 1840s. So for this episode, I will be cooking... What are you cooking for your Dodron's Bicentennial episode? I am cooking... A Something special for your Dodron's Bicentennial episode. Are you mocking me? No, that's a real word. <sighs> this episode isn't the... Dodron's Bicentennial? This episode isn't that. Can you say it? Of course I can say it. I don't think you can. I can say the word, but it's not correct to apply that to this episode of Sup With Your Pup. You can't say it. Dodron's Bicentennial. Wow. I've not been doing this show for 175 years. I have been doing this show for 175 days ever since we started quarantining here in our snug little pot. Yeah, it feels like 175 years. Um, feels like everything unplugged around 1845. Remember that mind-body stuff the doctor told you about? My attitude is fine. I just want to jump rope again. So jump rope. Jumping rope during these uncertain times might lead to a big asthma attack such that I might have to go to the hospital. So much of that is in your head, my love. The doctor said the mind is a part of the body. It's a big part of the body. So whether it's in my head or not in my head, it doesn't matter. I, I can't risk being around people. Besides me, you mean? Yes, besides you, my love, and the dogs. <laughs> okay, so all you need to make today's delicious treats are some oats, water, and peanut butter. No xylitol! Why are you yelling? You, can, you can't say peanut butter without pointing out that it can't be made with xylitol! Back for dogs. Everybody who's watching already knows that. You have no idea if someone who's tuning in, some theoretical new viewer having picked up the buzz, is deciding to start on the 175th episode, and they don't know anything about dogs and xylitol. Xylitol is toxic for dogs. Okay, so all you need to make today's delicious treats are oats, water, and some xylitol-free peanut butter. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, can I say it sans interruption this time? Are you going to cut this stuff out? Of course I'm going to cut this stuff out. This is what some of your most diehard fans love, our banter. Well, to an extent, but there are limits. A point eventually comes when our banter does not produce sufficient dividends for our regular audience. So I, just I'm forced to edit, my love. Slice out the old grumpy guy who keeps interrupting you, huh? That's the idea. Just erase me. Well, I'll save it for the extended director's cut, okay, my love? So all you what need to- What happened to that guy across the street? 
Uh huh. The guy who used to live alone in the house across the street. Joe? Yes, Joe. The guy with the bum leg. Joe died. Oh. Huh. Sad. How did he die? He was very old. It had nothing to do with his bum leg or with COVID. I think it was just really just Joe's time. Huh. How did I miss that? Well, you tend to focus on your own ailments. I liked seeing that guy. He was a shut-in. He barely ever left the house. Yeah, but on the rare occasions. He went outside. It was always pleasant to see him slowly meandering around the block in spite of his leg. He was a lesson in powering through and carrying on. Oh, what a lovely way to think about him. And now he's dead. And now he's dead. Well, we all die eventually. I mean, that's the gig. It is. Rest easy, Joe! With the bum leg. Rest easy, Joe. Okay, so all you need today to make these delicious treats are some oats, water, some xylitol-free peanut butter, and just a dash of cinnamon. You know, I feel like Percy loves us both equally, but sometimes I think Sirius loves you more than me. Well, of course Sirius loves me more than you. Percy does too. Excuse me? Well, they both love me more than you. I mean, I, I make them treats daily. I do a show about making them treats every day. You sit there and you complain about your ailments, although I I've never even seen you have a single asthma attack. You think I'm faking my asthma? Well, I don't know. I, I really don't know, but it has crossed my mind. Who are you? <sighs> Somebody the dogs love more than you. Wow. That is a hard thing to say. Well, couldn't you just maybe jump some rope for a few minutes so I can finish filming this episode? Jump some rope? Wow, you really do want me to have an asthma attack. I'd sort of be interested in seeing you have one. I mean, if I'm really being honest. Is that some sort of dare? Oh, look, only jump rope if you want to, my love. You know what? I am gonna jump some rope. I am gonna jump some rope. And if I drop, I drop. That's the gig, right? That's right. I will be reunited with my old pal Joe from across the street. Well, I think you'll be just fine. He promised me one thing. Anything. If I collapse in a jump rope induced asthma attack, you will never let the dogs near anything with xylitol. I promise. I, I, I promise on my life. I, I swear on, on everything. Okay, thank you. I'm not joking. But it, it doesn't seem like you are. I am going to do it. All right, I'm in awe of your courage. If I don't make it, just know that I love you. I love you too. Okay, here I go. <clears throat> Show, sup with your phone.